welcome back to the channel this is going to be a reading for the sign of pisces sun moon rising venus and north node so let's see what's coming up for you guys with two of one in the reverse many of you guys could be dropping someone who or you feel is never going to change or you might even be wanting to quit from a job that you feel is not quite serving you or might not be good for you long term Ten of Swords are certainly wanting to end something which is hurting you, which is bothering you, which is draining you. Okay. With Six of Swords, you have chosen to stay away from this and get away from this. For many of you, this could be a very toxic relationship. Uh, it could also be a job. For some of you, it could be a toxic marriage. So choose accordingly. But I also feel some of you who had plans of going abroad because of a certain something you guys might choose to postpone that okay what else do we see oh uh, like chariot card you definitely are wanting to move in a different direction altogether like a new brand new direction okay what else do we see coming up in your life with knight of swords after going through this situation you know in the past you have finally realized your worth through unnecessary situations you have finally realized why you have been through this what was the major purpose behind this okay i don't think you want to repeat that anymore you don't want to repeat the lesson anymore you have got a very strong realization as to why that happened with the world card this is all about endings because of you want to move in a different direction when one thing ends one thing begins in your life and for one thing to begin you have to end the old chapter you have to put an end to that uh, chapter so that you can find that time necessary energy necessary to move in a different direction so in terms of your relationship what's coming up relationship we have queen of cups okay you still have a lot of feelings for someone but let's see how is that going with the mention card you were definitely manifesting this person in the past you you felt very deeply for them emotionally you wanted to hug them be there with them be around them but night of wands it was also sexual but more i think it was emotional than sexual okay about your person your person with nine of cups definitely has feelings for you i i do think this connection is mutual with the ace of cups this could be a new person for some of you okay after getting away from something very toxic you guys could be planning of moving towards something much more fulfilling okay how does this person think about you with nine of pentacles this person might be working very hard to gain your trust and confidence okay uh, there's a good chance you might have met this person at work the problem with this individual could be that they are overly uh, involved with your work life and which in turn gives them less time for you if we are speaking about your feelings uh, with the uh, five of swords here i definitely feel like this person is not being able to understand you completely sometimes they simply feel that you push them away there's a lot of triggers that are happening push and pull okay they definitely want to know you but they are finding it hard to you know open up to you or understand you or even um, them to feel that you're remotely interested in them sometimes they doubt all of that with the moon card sometimes they might also feel like you are hiding some secrets so or you are just keeping them as a rebound so they go through the triggers okay so for some of you they might be hiding some secrets as well and with four of uh, like pentacles they are very particular about how they come off in front of you so they might play it too safe to a point that it gets boring and disturbing sometimes they will want to be very sure before they make their move okay in terms of their major intentions major intention with three of pentacles is to go one step at a time they do not want to push the situation or jump this person wants to be sure about their next move right so they'll be very much calculative about how they come off what they say and they'll on only come forward when they are confident about their move but nine of swords they are very restless over the whole situation sometimes they might also fear you um, just being around them for fun with high priestess they might have not revealed that to you or expressed that to you but uh, they have doubts about it 
and with high priestess right now they might just want to keep it uh, to themselves but uh, whenever they feel triggered whenever they feel like you're just there for the wrong reasons they might just hold back they might not give in and there might be a lot of uh, blockages in communication i mean this person is trying to be too practical instead of emotional but son of pentacles uh, they are wanting to be patient with the situation they want to give it their own time but they're coming in very very slow and with wheel of fortune they believe that this is meant to be so they are not in any sort of hurry here okay in terms of how do they view you now with eight of wands you definitely know that you might be having interest towards them but they necessarily see it as physical interest with the temperance card here this person might view you as someone who is definitely balanced uh, as someone who knows their own worth as someone who might not be wanting to do the wrong things necessarily and uh, is someone they should be trusting but they because of what they have been through are having a hard time with three of wands being the blockage card i still believe they see this connection as something that is you know yet to go full circle or yet to completely go forward so they think it's still in that working stages so they want to be completely sure before they can consider it a commitment for some of you there might be also distance in between like you guys live in different cities or different states so that might also get in the way with page of swords this person has their own doubts that they fight every day but i think it's nothing to do with you it's what they have been through and they are kind of just going through the whole fear or the whole doubt phase again for some of you the blockage can be that they want you to approach them first because that will make them feel confident you know that will make them want to trust you more and that's going to eventually let them to let down their guard which they are holding on so strongly against you what they have been through in the past is exactly what they are reflecting back on you so it's something that you need to get rid of and move on from with eight of wands they have a good chemistry with you and in terms of what are they willing to offer for now let's see with king of pentacles yes they do want commitment with you with king of wands uh, this connection is also based a lot on energy so they like the physical attraction that they feel towards you but it's not just that they also like the vibe that uh, they have uh, around you with the fool card they do want to take that risk but the fear is them getting over the past if they get over the past and they feel good about it, then they'll definitely be more open than usual. Okay. In terms of the Nia outcome, what can we expect? Nia outcome with judgment card, yes, they definitely have something that uh, is blocking them. It's it's mostly their resistance to completely let go of past situation. Even after you're not wanting the past person, sometimes you could just wait to see what's going up with them, you know? And that uh, crazy need for them to apologize or for them to reach out is going to keep you hostage right so that's what's keeping them uh, blocked with the strength card this this person is definitely holding back okay in terms of Pisces dealing with someone brand new how is that going to go if you guys are dealing with someone brand new you guys can meet them um, via social media or some data inside with the eight of cups i do believe uh, many of you guys are not very much in the mood to go for a relationship you guys might just want to have fun but nine of wands i don't think many of you guys are ready for a relationship you guys will take your time in terms of your person the one you'll meet next with two of cups this person will definitely fall for you the tower card i definitely feel like this person has been through something very painful and they might try to push you in, like, into getting with uh, them faster than usual that might get you a little uncomfortable you know ten of pentacles they are looking for the real deal so if you come across someone new especially fire and water then i feel this person will definitely want to take things forward and at a very faster pace than usual beyond your comfort level okay so yes in terms of the uh, Nia outcome if you guys are dealing with someone brand new we have star card it does have the possibility to survive and move forward regarded you given okay so all uh, Pisces were dealing with air sign Libra Gemini Aquarius Emperor card this person definitely wants to control the situation fix the situation 
The Ten of Cups, they do want the right things with you. You know, Ten of Wands, they will want to hold on to this connection. And they'll be, they are willing to put that effort, if required, to push this forward. Okay? If Pisces are dealing with water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Six of Cups. This person considers you their soulmate. With the Elephant card, they want you for the right reasons. You also taught them a lot and with six of pentacles if this was one-sided in the past then they're willing to balance it out they're willing to give in more okay if you guys are limit fire aries leo sagittarius Pisces is limit fire we have the empress card i mean we have all major arcana cards here today so i feel this is a good reading with the empress card they definitely want to grow with you they definitely want this connection to survive they definitely want this connection to bloom with three of swords in the past, they could have let you down by doing something or involving someone else. With five of, of pentacles, this person feels like you're better off uh, than them and uh, you might even deserve better. So they have a lack mentality. If you get a little with fire, this person does want you, but they do not feel like they deserve you. You know, so that might still get in the way. If you guys are dealing with Earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. With four of swords in the reverse, if in the past they were holding back, then now they want to give in. With death card, if in the past they ended things and they were very much rude and rash, then this time they want to fix that. They want to meet you first, like physical meeting, like date. Okay, with devil card, one card of advice for you overall for Pisces is do not unnecessarily put yourself in a situation that is draining you just for temporary benefits, be it physical, relationship. You know, the five of wands, there is no reason for you to hold back for someone to see whether they go through the karma or not. Okay, you, like universe will take care of that. And with queen of wands, take your chances when necessary to move in a different direction. Okay, you'll have many options coming up this uh, month and even the month after that. You have to just be open. Okay, let's take messages. True love is hard to find, but I found it with you. My heart is yearning for you. My twin flame, my love. Parts of me are broken. I am afraid that I might hurt you if I show you them. Just like I told you, they do not feel like they deserve you. I am ready to take my mask off and be real with you. So this is all I have for Pisces for the next 10 days. If it resonates, do hit the like button or let me know in the comment section. If you are new to the channel, do subscribe for more regular content. All those who are wanting a personal reading could directly head on to Etsy. We have special 20% discounts. Thank you so much for coming in and I hope to see you guys soon. Do hit the like button and yeah, thank you for coming up.